four by 400 relay team. They will be in lane two. The running order, Danny Everett, Steve Lewis, Kevin Robinson, and Butch Reynolds. Also remember that Andrew Valman and Antonio McKay ran in the early rounds, and whatever medals these four young men gather, they will also have two more to share with Valman and McKay. And this is a great, great United States team. Great Britain in one, United States in two, East Germany is in three, Jamaica in four, Nigeria, West Germany, Australia, and Kenya. Charlie, in order for the United States to break the world record, this is Danny Everett who will run the first leg. Someone has to run about a half a second faster than expected. That's what happened 20 years ago in 1968. A man named Ron Freeman, who is the bronze medalist, the third man on the relay, ran 43.2 totally unexpected and that's really what enabled them to get the record that's what has to happen here on paper they should be able to do it but in order to give them a little safety cushion someone has to really run out of his head right and what we'll really be looking for is to see what kind of a leg danny everett has out of the blocks that is what sets the tone that is what sets the pace and he's an excellent runner out of the blocks he was bronze medalist in the open 400 he runs anchor for the UCLA track team but he's used to running strong 400s out of the blocks now as we try to give the splits in this race don't be upset if Danny Everett's time is a little slower if it's a bit under 45 seconds because the first runner will be slower he's actually had to run 400 meters out of the blocks everyone else gets a flying start Nigeria is in lane five. Sandy Uti leading off with Innocent Egbunike to anchor. Sandy Uti, 614. You saw Howard Davis of Jamaica. Jens Karlovitz is leading off for East Germany. Nigeria's team, by the way, Uti, Ugbisi, Amik, and Innocent Egbunike all went to college in the United States. Official moving across. He has the has the recall gun in case of a false start. And now we are ready to go. The world record is 256.16, which means every man has to average pretty close to 44 seconds flat in order to break the world record. a fair start. Danny Everett closing just a little of the stagger on Karlovitz of East Germany, but not a lot. Now he begins to move down the back straight. Outside, Sunday Udi running well for Nigeria. So Nigeria and the United States both running well in the first lap. Danny Everett ran the turn well. He's got to be around 45 seconds in order for the United States to have a chance. In the lanes, through the turn. Leading at the exchange. And Charlie, it should be mentioned that most relay teams, 4x400 relay teams, put their weakest man on the second leg. We have, U.S. has, the gold medalist in the 400 meters running the second leg. Steve, look to Steve Lewis to really break this race open. But look what Danny Everett did. One second, under 45 seconds. He ran 44 flat or a little under for his leg. We are on the way. And here comes Steve Lewis with Jamaica running second. And East Germany now challenging for second. The margin is 30 meters. Now it's just a question of what kind of splits, what kind of speed are the United States going to run? That's the split. And here is Kevin Robinson. If this holds, do I think it destroy a record that's 20 years old? 
The 4x400 team for the U.S. has gotten stronger and stronger. They ran an excellent time four years ago in L.A. They ran an excellent time last year at the World Championships. And this team is a team in the truest sense of the word. Unlike the sprint relay team where they have problems, this team is really united. This is a goal that they've been reaching for ever since the Olympic trials. The record lies right here. This is the slowest of the four runners. He needs a career performance. And now the world record holder to anchor. 44-8. We get it. Butch Reynolds has to have a great leg. As I read it, we're about six-tenths of a second behind what they were in Mexico City. Butch Reynolds has to really go. this anchor leg in Rome when he was this far ahead of the rest of the field. For the record, 50 meters to go. Five, six, seven. Oh, no! Now, wait a minute. That's unofficial. That is unofficial. That clock has been off. One or two ticks. They may have tied it. That is unofficial. 256-17. Oh. <laughs> and Butch Reynolds couldn't have tried any harder. 43.7 on his final leg. And that's running all alone from the front just chasing the record and also this is at sea level a lot different situation than in mexico city it's just a matter of how much the time adjusts he's lifting for everything he has left he knows this is the best team that we put together in 20 years and if we're gonna get it this is the time and the real worry was would they try too hard would they go out too fast but they ran perfectly an olympic trivia question who finished second and third We'll have that for you, but we've got to check the computer to find out. We'll be back to Olympic Stadium in just a moment with the official results.